recap on all the DC Multiverse figures that were revealed by Mattel at Toy Fair. <laughs> I'm here with the one and only Shardimus Prime. And anyway, so this he's throwing things at me, so I'm trying to get the... Let me do my work. Okay, okay, I'll stop, sorry. Okay, jeez. Good help's hard to find, let me go. Hey everybody, JC here with T&I Toy News Video. And we're at the end of the second day of Toy Fair. I'm once again back in my hotel room. I actually have Shardimus Prime here. He's over there working, hey, doing some editing. Man, what's up, you guys? <laughs> this is the fun part. This is the fun part. <laughs> This is the real shirt of Miss Prime, yeah, people. Yeah, real shirt. <laughs> Stay, don't talk to me. <laughs> Give me a pizza. God damn it. But anyway, so today, this is going to be another real quick video. I just wanted to recap all the DC Multiverse stuff that Mattel re uh, revealed today at Toy Fair. So it wasn't a whole lot, but we did get a couple of pretty cool reveals and also some answers to questions that we had before. Like what? Well, like the Clayface uh, alternate weapon hand. So we now know that those are going to be showing up in two Toys R Us exclusive figures, a Kid Flash figure, which we're seeing for the first time, and Beast Boy from the Teen Titans. So again, that's going to be a Toys R Us exclusive, and those figures will have those alternate weapon hands that we had originally seen last year at Toy Fair for the Clayface Collect and Connect Does figure. Beast Boy figure actually transform? Wrong franchise, my friend. Trash. Trash. <laughs> Transform. Other reveals that we had today was a new spoiler figure and Harley Quinn figure. These are going to be Walmart exclusives. These figures will have alternate pieces for that Lex Luthor, the Rebirth Lex Luthor Collect and Connect figure that we originally saw at New York Comic Con last year. That figure was on display here along with the rest of the wave. And just if you need a recap, that wave has the Rebirth Wonder Woman figure, the Gaslight Batman figure, Vixen, two versions of Ray, a regular Ray, and then a transparent Ray, and then the Simon Baz Green Lantern. And again, those are all part of that Rebirth Lex Luthor Collect and Connect. And then if you get the spoiler and Harley Quinn, you can get an alternate dark side head and a mother box. And if you're familiar with the Rebirth Lex Luthor character, you know why those are significant. Also shown was the Bizarro figure. So we had seen this figure before, but we didn't. it was not on display at New York Comic Con, but it is going to be released and it is going to be released as a Walgreens exclusive. I don't know of any kind of pieces. This is essentially part of, also part of that Lex Luthor wave, but I don't think it's going to come with any kind of alternate pieces. At least none were shown today. Other reveals today were two new Injustice 2 video game figures. These are actually going to be made with die-cast metal, and they took scans from the game to actually create these figures. So if you're a fan of Injustice 2, you'll probably want to check those out. And yesterday I told you how Storm Collectibles was going to be doing Injustice 2 figures. They had the, the Lobo and the Dark Side figure on display. Now those will be a little bit bigger, so they're not going to really be in scale with these. Well, they might be because, you know, I think Lobo is probably a bigger character, and so, certainly Dark Side is, than Batman and Superman. So they might go together pretty well. I don't know. But anyway, these, are again, are going to be made with die-cast metal, so that's pretty cool. And those are going to be GameStop exclusives. So... Pretty much everything new that we saw today was going to be some kind of store exclusive figure. And then also we got a look at a new multiverse signature series figure. So these are the new figures that they're doing that are the 6.5 inch. And the first wave is going to include that 90 series Flash and Batman from Batman Forever, the Val Kilmer Batman. And then a new addition to the line is going to be the Tim Burton Penguin figure. There's also going to be a Linda Carter Wonder Woman. They did not, unfortunately, have that figure on display. I think it's being held up uh, waiting for approval from, I guess, Linda Carter, um, who I guess has to sign off on it, essentially, for the likeness rights and everything. But that figure is coming in the line, so I don't know when we'll actually see it. Hopefully, it'll be soon. I should note that all the figures that were shown here, all the comic book figures that were shown here, were actually sculpted by the Four Horsemen. Uh, the only ones that were not sculpted were the Injustice figures, and then they're not currently working on that uh, signature line either. So 
the, but the other regular DC Multiverse figures were actually sculpted by the Four Horsemen. So that's it. Uh, like I said, not a whole lot, but a couple cool things. I know if you got that uh, Clayface Collect and Connect figure, you'll probably definitely want to check out those two Toys R Us exclusives, the, the Kid Flash and the Beast Boy, so you can, can get those alternate weapon hands. And then the Rebirth Superman figure wave, which will be out probably in a couple months. Um, you'll have to get the spoiler and the Harley Quinn if you want the alternate pieces for those. All right, so I'd love to hear your thoughts on these. Are you excited for these? Are you planning on picking them up? Let me know in the comments section below. Say goodnight to Shardimus Prime, everybody. Please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel by hitting that button down below. And until next time, guys, I will catch you later.